Today I'm going to be reviewing a software with you that I personally believe that everybody who deals with IT needs to have a copy of at the very least on their own personal device just in case something happens. The product for review today is called Laysoft Recovery Suite. On their website right here, you can see that they outline that you can recover your data, repair windows, and even recover your license numbers and things of that nature. They come with a variety of different products available to you, and the best part of it is, if it's for home use, it is completely free. It doesn't have all the features in it that the professional version does. However, I have found out that for my own personal use, the free edition is more than adequate. Now, before we get started, I would like to say that Laysoft has not sponsored this video. It is not sponsored at all. I am purely going at this review based on my own personal use of the software. And I have been using it for my own personal data. And it's one of the best data recovery products out there that's comparable to ASUS, to be perfectly honest. I believe that's how you say it, the ASUS data recovery. It's on the same level as them and it's much cheaper. I personally have used this myself on several hard drives and jump drives. It works across the board, even with SD card. When you first open up the Laysoft Recovery Suite, you're going to see five different options. You have um, the ability to burn a bootable disk to a USB or a CD, which will allow you to boot into a separate OS from a CD. The next option is a Windows Recovery, which will allow you to recover your boot drive. So in case your Windows is not booting correctly, you can recover it and put it back to the way it was. The third option, which is the one we're really going to be looking at today, is a data recovery. It will allow you to recover any data that has been previously deleted or even formatted over. Next, you have a disk image and cloning system, which I personally have never used this part. The last thing is a password recovery, which will allow you to recover your Windows password in case you need to. I'm sure that you can see why this would be extremely beneficial to most people. And honestly, like I said at the beginning, if you are into IT, or even if you're just an enthusiast, you need to have a copy of this product on your machine, or at least save somewhere. So today what we're going to do, I have a random jump drive that I pulled out of my big slew of jump drives that I've had over the years. And this one has a bunch of random drivers in it for, it looks like Windows XP, maybe, yeah, XP 32-bit. It's got some programs, some quick load options. Yes, so these drivers are quite old and probably getting corrupted. And it's about time for us to format this. So let's say that we have a jump drive like this and we accidentally delete it or format it. So let's go in here, we're going to format this drive, and we're going to hit start. Would you like to format it? Yes, and it's going to erase all the data. So now it should work a lot better, and there's nothing in there. This is where LaySoft Recovery Suite comes in. If you click here on Recover Data, another window will come up and it's going to ask you what you would like to do. The first option is a quick scan. Basically, it's going to do a quick scan for your drive to see if it can find any files right off the top. The next is an undelete, so basically it'll go through your recycling bin or go through your recently deleted that's saved on your computer and it will try and recover that. Next is an unformat, which will basically go in and undo any formatting that you had or recover files after you formatted it. But we're not gonna do this option yet. Next is the deep scan, which is the one that I personally use on whenever I have a crash drive or something like that. It will scan through everything on the drive and give you anything that it finds which i think is more beneficial than all the rest of them but let's step through them anyway first is going to be a fast scan let's go ahead and click that and we can select whichever drive that we want and the drive that i'm going to look at is my m drive so let's go ahead and start the search and of course, because it was recently formatted, there's nothing in there. The only thing we're going to have is a system information index. And now we can go back and we can go down to the next one, which is undelete. Once again, go down here. 
M drive and search. And whenever you get done with your search, something you're going to notice, and this is why I love Laysoft over other applications, it breaks down what you found or what it found into subfolders and it allows you to see different things of what it actually found in it. It's a tree breakdown of all the files that you found. And as you can see, we have a bunch of drivers that it found. It did not find everything on there, but it did find quite a bit. And next we're going to go down to deep scan, which in my opinion is basically the same thing as unformat, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. So let's go ahead and do deep scan and we are going to get drive M right here. I'm going to select that, hit next. Now, whenever you get to this area, you can either specify what kind of files you want. So if you want to limit it down and say you are going through an old hard drive and all you want to find is pictures, for instance, someone comes up to you and says, hey, my hard drive with my family pictures on it has crashed and I really want those pictures back and I don't care about anything else. You can just click partial recovery using selected image types or selected file types and just pick images. The automatic recovery option will recover everything. However, it will also take longer, but let's go and try that. And we're going to hit start search. Now this is going to start searching everything and it's going to take quite a while to scan a drive. But like I said, when you recover this, it's going to come back with everything that's ever been on that drive. And once the search is done, you just hit complete or OK and then you can drop down your petition off to the side and you can see exactly what was inside of it. So our original file there, files inside of that as well as our system information. It looks like the Windows XP 64 and 32 bit as well as Windows 7 installation was on there as well. Lots of different things. It looks like that this was used for several different uh, partitions throughout the years. Lots of different drivers on here as well. So it looks like this was used for XP and Windows 7 installation. So let's say that you recovered your files. Now, how do you export them or how do you get them back? Well, all you need to do is select or just check mark whichever ones that you want to keep. And in this case, I'm going to check everything because I don't really know what I have on there or not. And we're going to go ahead and click save files. When we click save files, it's going to let us pick a new place to save our files to. So let's just make a new folder and call it recovered here. I'm going to copy this location so I know where it is and then we're going to go ahead and select folder and it's going to recover all of our files for us. It's completed with 344 files found so if we go to the location where we saved it to I just have a new window brought up here I'm going to paste that in and the recovered data is right here separated into three separate files the same way that it's separated in LaySoft. So let's see here, system information, and we have those. Part of the damage partition, we have these files here, which has the, let's see, which one has, yep, that has settings. There's our drivers that we pulled back off of the deleted partition. Here's the rest of our drivers that we have in there. And that is our corrupted file on the jump drive that has been recovered and restored. That looks like more drivers. And there you have Laysoft. It's pretty straightforward, easy data recovery, and most of all, it's free and it does what it says it's supposed to do. Now, a review would not be a good review unless it had a tangible number attached to it. So something that you could compare to or something that I personally would rank something with. Now, I have developed a spreadsheet that you see right here where I have broken down in a 0 to 10 point scale what I feel like would be the most important things when reviewing a product like this or any other software products. And this is a format that I'm going to be using moving forward so I can better gauge and so you can understand my thought process behind how I'm reviewing software and the points that I gave it for whatever area. So the first step is usefulness. So how useful is the product? Obviously, whenever you need it, 
you need it. I think the usefulness of this is a 10 out of 10 because I personally find it useful and I know I've used it multiple times for a variety of different situations. Next is time consumption. So how much time would this product save me? versus a competitor or versus if I were to do this on my own or create my very own version of it. And the time consumption in it, I think that it is right on par with the other products available. I think that they're still on par. And I feel like that there is room for improvement with the time consumption but I'm still gonna give it a nine out of 10. Engaging, so what is the engagement like? Is it entertaining to, believe it or not, that actually comes into play a lot recently with software because if it's not engaging, then a lot of people will get bored with it and think that it's just old and finagled and things like that. I mean, for what it is, I feel like that it's got a nice visual appeal. It's got a good user interface. So I would also give it a nine on this as well. Now, cost versus competitors, completely free for personal use. You can't compete with free, so it's gotta be a 10. Cost versus usefulness, again, completely free and it's extremely useful, it's a 10 out of 10. Intuitiveness, there are a few little hiccups here and there, like I personally think that there's a few options that you don't need. For instance, whenever you are going through the data recovery, if you want to recover everything, you should just have a selection where recover certain file types or just recover everything and that should be it in my opinion there's a lot of different options and i feel like it could get confusing for new users but at the same time i can't complain too much about it because it does what it does and it does it really good so i would put this at probably an eight for intuitiveness i still think that anybody can just go and pick it up and use it and understand what's going on with it. Activation or paintability. How easy is it to find? How easy is it to activate once you have a license for it? I've never purchased it because I've never used it in a business standpoint, but I can say that it is very easy to obtain. You just go to their website and you download it. It's right there. So I would obviously put that at a 10. And functionality. So how well does it do what it does? I think for what it is, I think it does it really good. And I think that there's other ones out there that are a little bit better, but I've definitely seen some that are a lot worse. And I mean, a lot worse. So I would definitely put this at a nine. So my total score for Lay's Soft Recovery Suite is a 94%. So if you enjoyed this software review and you're still here, why not go ahead and click the subscribe button? It's like right there. I got it populating right now. It's pretty cool. If you'd like to stay up to date with everything that we do, we do have products that we review as well as hardware and things like that. It's a technology channel. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything that we post, and I will see you in the next video.